Okay guys, we all know that the main concern while we working inside the workshop is the dust. Even though we have a dust collector, but that is not enough for filtering the dust. So in this project, I'm going to make uh, air filter for my workshop because I'm concerned about my health while I'm working. And in this project, I'm going to use this ordinary fan. This is actually 15 inch uh, ceiling fan that I'm using. This fan is already, uh, I'm not using anymore because they make a noise when they turn the, the position. So this fan is already not used anymore, but I'm going to make this fan uh, as my uh, dust filter. So, uh, okay then, start making the frame for this uh, air filter. Okay, for this uh, filter, I'm using 60 centimeter by 60 centimeter. So, I bought the, the cheap filter. It's actually for the air holding unit that I buy it online. Okay, for the box frame, I'm using half lap joint. That is the easiest way to make the frame or box joint frame. Okay, after all, the frame is already cut for the half lap joint. Now we're going to join them together. In this case, I'm making two frames, the back frame and the front frame and these two frame is the same size the good thing about this joint is you don't need a screw you just need a glue and a clamp and you also able to make it uh, square like so Okay, after this two frame is done, the next step we're going to fitting this uh, filter inside the box. So we're going to fit this filter inside the box. After that, we're going to make the box join. So this is going to be a box. Okay, the box frame is already done. So the next step we're going to fitting the uh, filter. We're going to make the filter holder inside the box. Just like so. We're going to make the cassette system for these filters. So this filter is going to be sliding in and sliding out like a cassette. this going to be the filter holder the next step we're going to make the filter track so, like so so when we slide in the filter is going to be slide on top of this uh, track And next, we're going to add these filter fans 
so when we slide in the filter is not going to be come out from the track so we use I'm using this fence next step we're going to make the bracket holder for the fan motor and I also use this uh, half lap joint for this uh, motor holder okay before I screw this holder to the frame I'm going to measure this distance so it's going to be nine centimeters I'm going to make this holder is nine centimeter and I'm going to screw them okay the motor holder is already done now we're going to make the bracket for the motor so this is the bracket that is going to join with this uh, holder and i have a gap around 24 millimeter from this surface to the blade so i will uh, make the template copier using this uh, black ink to the paper and um, sponge to copy the template so i just need this uh, bolt hole and the uh, hole for the air circulation okay first I'm going to drill for the bolt hole and after that I'm drilling for the center shaft and then continue with this uh, air circulation for the motor Okay, always make sure this uh, motor bracket and the uh, motor position for this fan is center in the middle. And the next step, we're going to make this uh, enclosure bracket or the cover bracket. So this is the cover bracket. So for this cover, I'm going to use. Uh, six millimeter plywood like you can see I'm cutting the six millimeter plywood on my panel saw and this is for the cover or enclosure okay it's almost done so the next step is we're going to add this uh, front cover brackets so this is the front cover holder 
like the same with this uh, side cover so before I close this uh, front I'm going to temper all the edge so it's going to be a uh, knife it's not sharp edge okay final test fit for this uh, top cover or uh, front cover the next step we're going to make uh, the blade hole oh yeah for this front cover I'm using 18 millimeter it's not a six millimeter like a side cover but for this front cover especially I'm using 18 millimeter next step I'm going to make the blade tunnel So this is the short tunnel that I make the I think this is the blade tunnel I don't know what I should call it but uh, I give it a name like the blade tunnel Okay, this uh, blade tunnel is actually have uh, less than five millimeter gap between the blade tunnel and the fan blade. So you can see it's around two or three millimeter gap. So it's not going to hit the blade tunnel. Okay then. Let's get tested. <laughs> 